Hello everyone, uh, myself P. N. Jyoti, Assistant Professor, Computer Science Department. So let us have the very first lecture of principles of Python, uh, principles of programming languages. So before starting, let me ask you one thing: Why do you think is the study of uh, principles of programming languages is important? Of course, we'll be discussing the same thing uh, as the first point, but just brainstorm on that. What do you think will be the uh, benefit of uh, uh, having or knowing principles of programming languages? Yes, so that's what is uh, today's session. We'll be knowing about uh, different uh, evaluation criteria for programming languages and uh, most importantly first we'll be looking at reasons to study concepts of programming languages and uh, design criteria we'll be looking at design criteria and also language evaluation criteria language evolution process okay so to start with the reasons to study concepts of principles or uh, programming languages is increased capacity to express programming concepts. So when we have the understanding or the knowledge of more than one programming language or uh, the programming concepts, obviously our ability to express is increased, our uh, understanding level will be increased, right? So, and the next thing or next very uh, good reason here is improved background for choosing appropriate languages. When we know multiple, when we have uh, knowledge of diverse uh, programming languages available, when a particular problem statement is given, definitely we will be able to uh, like uh, choose from the given uh, languages the appropriate language. Okay appropriate language for our use and increased ability to learn new programming languages. We will be able to learn new languages easily, we will be able to understand the implementation and also we will be able to design new languages and overall advancement of computing. Since we will be able to efficiently use the programming language, this will automatically lead to advancement of computing. Okay, then programming domains, there are different programming domains like uh, depending on the application area we are like uh, are dividing them into some six programming domains. First one is scientific applications, then business applications, artificial intelligence, systems programming, scripting languages, special purpose languages, all these are the programming domains. So, as the names itself suggest, scientific applications domain, which will be dealing with the scientific uh, applications, artificial intelligence, which will be dealing with the artificial intelligence and machine learning related applications. Okay. There are some special purpose uh, programming languages also. Okay. Then, so language evaluation criteria. How do we evaluate a language like what, based on what you will say that a particular language is a very good language and a particular language is not a very good language. How do we decide that is based on some of the criteria like readability, orthogonality, writability, reliability. Okay. So, what is readability? Readability is your program or your language should be overall simple. It should not have too many features and it should not have multiplicity of features. Let me explain what too many features means. Like uh, if we have many features, okay, which are not actually necessary also, such features are also in, in like uh, uh, available, then definitely it will lead to confusion and it will uh, like unnecessary information, right? And multiplicity of features, like for one particular task, we have uh, we uh, we uh, are able to do that using multiple features of a programming language. Definitely, with this, what happens is when X person is writing, he may use one form of the feature, and when Y person is writing, he may use the another form of the feature. Okay, with this, what happens is when the third person is reading or the uh, 
the other person is reading your uh, program they will not be able to understand it will lead to a kind of uh, readability problem okay then orthogonality okay orthogonality makes the language easy to learn and read meaning is context dependent based on the context okay then we sh it should have control statements data types and structures and also it should have some system consider syntax considerations without syntax if you are able if you are allowed to write whatever you want definitely it is readable by only you not all others by readability what does we mean a third person should be able to understand that then writability writability is easily it should express the users requirements and it should support for abstraction okay and simplicity and orthogonality then reliability reliability okay reliability reliability in the sense uh, type checking exception handling all these comes under reliability like where we'll be able to rely on the system like able to uh, take it for granted some of the things which will which the system will uh, handle for us okay then uh, cost is the most important one uh, like uh, if i have to use a particular programming language how much is the cost required for programmer training software creation compilation execution compiler cost okay all these and maintenance all these comes under the cost criteria and others other evaluation criteria include portability your programming language should be portable across the different platforms there should be well definedness and generality okay there should be well definedness and generality right so quickly quickly can you summarize what are the language evaluation criteria yes readability writability reliability cost portability generality and well definedness right all these are the language evaluation criteria okay so moving to the next topic what are the influences on language design what are the influences different influences on language design <coughs> sorry so first uh, first and foremost thing that should be considered for uh, language design is computer architecture okay because we use von neumann architecture or von neumann machines your language should be in such a way that it should be supported on such machines and the programming methodologies what does this methodologies mean like it the way we program the way we program was like it came on changing year by year decade by decade like if we see 1950s to 1960s okay uh, simple applications okay simple applications and 1960s late 1960s people efficiency became, became important okay readability better better control structures came into picture and late 1970s had data abstraction in the programming language and 1980s introduced object oriented programming okay 1980s introduced object oriented programming now language categories language categories different categories like we have imperative functional logic and object oriented okay this object oriented and imperative both the languages are closely related to each other okay these are the like categories now language design trade offs what are the language design trade offs like when you design a programming language what would be the trade offs any answers okay so these are the uh, language design trade offs like reliability versus cost of execution like both are like inversely proportional okay if your programming language is reliable 
okay then cost of execution will be little bit more it will not be cost effective if it is allowing or if it is providing writability then readability will be compromised okay if there is flexibility then safety will be little bit compromised like this there is like design trade offs if you want one thing you should compromise with the other one like that okay the some features are like that it is like it comes with its own compl uh, complexities it it comes with its own complexities okay then implementation methods there, there are different implementation methods for a programming language like uh, compiling interpreting all these are nothing but the implementation methods so first method what we will be discussing is the compilation where the translation of high level program to machine code okay high level program to machine code will be uh, done in this case translation will be slow but execution will be faster translation will be slow execution will be faster coming to interpretation interpretation there will not be any translation execution will be very slow and uh, this type of programming languages are becoming rare because of their slow execution always what we prefer is faster execution right then uh, there are hybrid implementation systems there are hybrid implementation systems which will be like having small translation cost medium execution speed that means these are the uh, combination of compilation and interpretation compilation and interpretation in different programming environments we have different programming environments like the collection of tools used in software development like unix borland c++ small talk microsoft visual c++ these are nothing but the uh, programming environments okay as you know unix is an operating system old operating system and it uh, tools collection then borland c++ is a pc environment for c and c++ it is like an editor for c and c++ then small talk it is a language processor environment it is a language processor environment and coming to microsoft visual c++ it is a large complex visual environment it is a large complex visual environment uh, so today we have gone through different programming language principles different programming language principles then we have seen the evaluation criteria for the programming language how do you decide a programming language is good or bad different types of programming domains available okay and the trade offs between the evaluation criteria and also we have seen different programming environments right different programming environments these are the uh, takeaways of today's session in the next class let us let us discuss the next topic any queries you can uh, post to me thank you